no, 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 no. I was watching one of the X Lights uh, videos, and they all use um, that song. That's public. That's right. Yes. Okay. First up, a, some people have asked me for a panel mount micro SD card <laughs> extender. Yeah. This is cool because you just have to drill. I think like a one inch. I look at the product definition for the exact inch. Maybe it's a half inch diameter hole, um, so you can use any round, you know, wood or metal drill bit yeah. or CNC. You pop this in, you screw the hex nut on, and then on the other side, you have another micro SD plug that you put into the device. One thing I will mention, because this trips people up, a lot of devices know when you unplug, like they, re they cycle the storage when they see that the mechanical um, SD card has been removed. Since you're doing the extender, there's no way for the host to know when you've swapped the card because it can't detect like, oh, the mechanical thing has changed. It thinks it's still connected. So this isn't good with something where it's you're swapping, you're hot swapping an SD card. What it is good for is like a single board computer where you only swap the SD card on boot. Um, it's good on like a 3D printer where you can tell it, hey, we scan the SD card or you only change it once in a while. It's just, just be aware you're not going to be able to hot swap it. Um, and have the host know because mechanically it's not being removed. And I just want to say something, breaking news. This is Sandus new logo, the one right in the middle. Dude. I love it. I'll tell you why. So everybody, you know, dunks on every type of rebrand that's happened recently. This is kind of... Look at this cyberpunk thing. It is cyberpunk, but it's Look at, like... This is cool. What's with those S's? It's cool. This is so cool. Finally, finally. Finally. This I is say, really. This is like. I want a jacket with like this going down the side. I want to get. I, that is true. This right? is like Akira. Isn't this ask. cool? Yeah. I love it. Okay. Anyways, so, so by the way, we have to say this card. Okay. Ask. Anyway. Okay. Next up, um, this is a mini panel mount USB C connector um, on one end with a little like protective cap. Beep, beep. It's tiny. It's like a half inch drill hole. It's very small and a JST PH on the end. One thing I will note. Um, a little bit of a curse of USB-C devices I've noticed is that the CC lines are not connected here. So this is not great for use as something that connects to like a client. It's better if something that connects to a host. So for example, yeah. you want something that you would plug in into, this, into the panel mount part, um, a USB key or a keyboard or a mouse, and then the other side is the host because you can require it has five volt power um, and then the two data lines and ground. So it's basically like your USB host connection. The reason it's not great as a client is that if you're connected to like a Mac or to a power supply that is um, using USB PD, it's going to say the CC lines are floating and can't detect a device. And so just be aware, or, you know, or if you do use it, make sure you're using it with a Windows computer or some other computer that doesn't care about if the CC lines are not connected. All right. Also wanted to say shout out to DJ Shrimp. Ooh, okay. I love shrimps. <laughs> You're telling me a shrimp is DJing this place? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next up, uh, more panel mount. This is a type A connector. So this is your standard USB host. This is for charging a device um, over USB A. It's got only the power lines and it's going to be a little rectangle shape. And then this we, is just a demo. You yeah, show. we got, yeah, we, we, you know, we show you all yeah. the things that go with it. Okay, and then we got this one. Um, and then this is a version with the data lines. So if you want to have, yeah. this is actually kind of nice because if you want a USB A, you want to plug something in and you have the host on the other side and it, okay. you know, it's, uh, it's powering and it's communicating so you can like easily panel mount it. Oh wait, there's more. Okay. So these are actually the things I really like. These are extremely cool, except for this USB C one, which again, does not have the CC lines. These are sewable. So like they're molded oh. into this, you can see the sew lines on the rectangle they're made out of a soft plastic oh that's oh it's soft plastic that you sew through you can that's sew cool. through it that could go on my sandus jacket your sandus jacket yeah. to charge it um so imagine? again the only thing that's annoying about this USB C is it does not have the cc lines connected i really am going to go back to the factory and yell at them and say please somehow put 5.1k resistors on there if you do want to use it which i don't super recommend either do it to charge a device so this is like providing power or make sure you're using it with a charger that is not picky about the CC line. So just make sure oh, you yes. test your, oh, you yes. plug it into your oh. USB power supply and make sure it's providing 5 volts. Just get to the next one, sorry. Yeah, this is the sewable 2.1 millimeter DC connector. This is really nice. So again, sew it into your jacket and then you can have your NeoPixel lights light up and power. 
And then finally, we have a version with a micro USB, um, which thankfully, I, which is, I would recommend if you want to do USB because people are still using micro USB. You don't have that CC line It's a big deal. Issue. It's kind of out there. It's fine. It's cool. So yeah. I'm just informing people. Yeah, and you could show, and you, and you show, look at this. You show. Five volts. You show what's going on here. Power. This is really neat. These are neat. You're right. Yeah, because we actually got a request on the forums. Cool. I have to go back cool. to the forum post where somebody asked me about this because like, I, they were saying they bought some they bought some hat with lights or something and they yeah. were like, can you find me this connector? And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So it's just cool. Yeah. I want to... Sewable connectors. Yeah. Okay. And the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, our entire Ada for team is... The Nuxi boards. Um, this is like a really quick spin board. Um, I had some people ask me a while ago for this and I was like, I don't understand what you're asking for. They're like, I want vertical displays. So we saw this on like a fake Nixie clock. And I thought this was kind of neat because they're little ultra high resolution IPS TFT displays, 240 by 135, 16 bit color pixels, but they're vertical and you can stack them side by side. So you want to make a clock where each digit is a separate TFT, like these like fake Nixies I saw. This is the board for you because th that Nixie clock had a little plug in, very hard to use. Um, so what's cool about these is yeah. that they come pre assembled with a two by seven pin plug header in. So the two, this, this, the display is like 0.8 inches. And so I made it 0.8 inches wide. And then I have like seven contacts. The two rows are identical. I just have dual rows, so it's mechanically stable. So that way you solder it down or you like push it down against the breadboard. It's not going to flop back and forth. And you get power ground, clock, data, chip select, data um, command and backlight. Um, we have an auto reset circuit. There's five volt logic level shifting. So you can use it with your Raspberry Pi or your Arduino or your RP2350 or the ESP32, whatever letters and numbers combo. We should probably do a demo and put it on the product page that shows like the Nixie. I, I have to, but it's yeah. like I, I ran out of time yeah. to be honest. We just, I got these PCBs. No, we can have yesterday. our team help out with that. Uh, Liz, when she gets back yeah. from holidays, yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so now you can have multiple displays. So what you would do is you'd share the clock and data lines. You have it and did it command and then have a chip select and control them individually. You can have them have individual little images. So um, very cute. And then there's mounting holes, but you can also snap off the mounting holes. Nice. It's just like, it's quickly spin. Uh, I want to just make sure it's like, you know, with seven pins wide. Yeah. All right. And with that is new products for the week. Yay. <laughs>